What's going on guys? So you're new to solar. So you're looking at uh, inverters, what to buy, uh, what kinds to get, and what your power needs are. So this is a problem that I had when I first got my solar set up was, you know, they have cheaper. There's two different kinds of uh, power inverters for an off-grid situation or just to have power. There's a modified sine wave and a pure sine wave. The big difference is here, I'm going to try to tell you all in layman's terms where you can try to understand. A pure sine wave is like the electric in your house. A modified sine wave is like the cheapest way they can make it. So it's like a, a dirty power or it, it fluctuates really bad. So what I have come to find out that it's cheaper for the modified <laughs> for the modified sine wave inverters. It's a lot cheaper, you know, like a 1500 watt modified sine wave might run you a hundred bucks, maybe. A pure sine wave will run you a couple hundred dollars, two, three hundred bucks. So there's a big price difference, and that's why everybody goes to the modified sine wave, but they don't really understand what they're getting into. So what ends up happening, like me, uh, you end up buying it, and then you have to end up buying the more expensive one later on anyways. So you're spending more money than what you should. If you just go ahead and buy the one that's more money, you don't have to buy another one later on, unless you need a bigger one. But what I have is what I started with. This is a Schumacher uh, 410 watt power inverter. This is a modified sine wave, okay? And then what I bought, clean it off <laughs> is a power I don't know if you all can read that power tech on 600 watt uh, continuous power 1200 watt surge pure sine wave inverter now I want you all to notice something there's not much difference far as how much power they can pump out it's just uh, this is 410 so you got 290 watts difference, which ain't much. Look at the size difference in these inverters. Big difference. So what that tells me is this thing has very little components inside. That's why it's so cheap. This thing is like 40 bucks. This one was $90. So you're paying, it's one of them things where you get what you pay for. You know, if you go cheap, cheap, you'll have power, and it works. I'm not putting down Schumacher. Schumacher. This is a good little inverter. It's really good. Uh, it's got one little plug, and uh, it's got, well, it's got two plugs. It's got one on the side and a USB uh, charger. What I like to do with this, this is just what I started with, but what I do with this is when we go on vacation or something, I will plug it up into the cigarette lighter, like if the kids want to watch the laptop or do whatever or charge the phones or their tablets. So I'll leave this in the truck and let them do that stuff. Now it's not good for your electronics, but it will charge it. You know, you could do anything with this. You can run your fridge or small fridge. This one don't really have the power for it. Fans, lights, whatever. But the problem is between this one and this one is because this power fluctuates so much what ends up happening is it's it's hard on motors it's hard on anything really and what I have come to notice if you ever watch anybody else's YouTube uh, videos let me get in the light a little better here if you ever watch anybody else's YouTube's videos and they've got a uh, power inverter you'll hear this hum mm -hmm. Like anytime they have anything on, light, a fan, TV, anything, it'll have this hum. And what that is, is where the power is fluctuating so much that it's not powering the device the way that it should. So like, uh, like a motor, if it's turning constantly, this would like do like intervals. Mm, 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 mm. If that explains it better, 
And the pure sine wave is just like your house. When it powers a motor, there's no intervals of stopping. It's just a continual, at the same speed, motor running. So you don't get no hum, you don't get nothing. Now when it does that, when it's kind of jumping on that motor, what will end up happening is it will burn the motor out. So if you're wanting to run a fridge or a TV or anything, it will end up tearing it up. So it may be cheaper when you first buy it, but it ended up costing you more money because everything that you have will eventually stop working. So if you're looking for something, medical emergency or power goes out or you know you just want like I'm doing running stuff off of solar it's not a good way to go if it's your only option yeah it's good but if you have the money or even you know that 600 watt one it uh it's not a whole lot of power but it's plenty enough I've got TV TV DVD player ceiling fan lights drill batteries charging all off that little inverter the 600 watt pure sine wave so and it's only 90 bucks for that so even if you have to go a little smaller than what you think and the good thing about them this is a big difference between modified and pure sine wave a modified uh, sine wave modified inverter it when a, a device like a refrigerator kicks on say it only uses 100 watts of power at 120 volts it will use five six times that to, to turn that motor because you think like a weight when you turn that weight the first time you turn it it's heavier it's harder to turn but once you get it turning it's easy you can just keep right on going no problem so that motor uses more power at right at the beginning they call it a surge that's what the uh, rating on those are 600 continuous 1200 surge so on a modified sine wave there's no the inverter don't help it at all it just uses more power so if you don't have a big enough inverter it won't turn it and your device won't work but like my pure sine wave inverter it has a technology called a soft start so say the device need 2000 watts surge power to turn it well that little inverter is only 1200 watts surge but it will still start it because if I understand it right now you all that know better than me can correct me but if it's a soft start so it slowly instead of just turning it real fast it will slowly turn that until it gets it going so it's a doesn't use as much energy at the right at the beginning because it's gonna slowly work it up in wattage and in amps until it gets it going so it takes less energy to start something <clears throat> so if that fridge used 2000 watt surge power now it might only use a thousand because it's turning it slower at a slower pace now it won't hurt your device it just takes a little longer for it to click on <clears throat> so I'm a big fan of these pure sine wave inverters this is the first one that I've had I've had a lot of modified and I've got some big brick modified ones and I've never been happy with them the hum will drive you absolutely insane and then it end up it just tears stuff up I've had LED bulbs that shouldn't it shouldn't hurt it ruins them I've had fans it ruins <clears throat> it's just not good and like I've got my drills my Ryobi drill sets that are on pfft, <laughs> that's on lithium ion batteries so if you're all wanting to do like what I'm doing and building my cabin off grid and of course I mean you need tools to work on stuff and you can't buy enough of these batteries these batteries are like 60 bucks to buy so you've got to have a way to charge everything where you're at whatever you're doing or if emergency happens the grid goes down somebody like my dad has the CPAP machine that he has to have to sleep I can run that off of that but the bad thing about these lithium-ion batteries is a modified sine wave will just ruin them it'll cook them they're no good so they won't even last very long at all the pure sine wave <clears throat> some people say that it's a 
a cleaner power than what you have in your house because there's no fluctuation. It's just a true sine wave. Let me do it like this. It's just a true sine wave of power. So what that means is it's uh, there's no fluctuations. There's no like a modified will. It'll go up, block off, up, block off, and that's what that you know what I was telling you all that it jumps and a regular motor will just turn. So there's a big difference in them. If you're all looking for a, an inverter, I highly recommend getting a pure sine wave and spending the extra money and getting exactly what you need. <clears throat> if you all have any questions, I've been using these. I've been using my pure sine wave inverter a lot here lately, running everything off grid here. I've got my ceiling fan. I got my ceiling fan running off of it. I've got all my electrical, all my electrical outlets running off of it right now. I've got my drill batteries over here charging. I don't know if you all can see that. I've got my drill batteries charging off of it. Well, that looks like it's charged. <clears throat> I've got that really bright LED work light back here working off of it. Back here where you all can see it a little bit. A little work light working on it, plugged into the wall. If you all, I don't know if you can even see it. If you're all looking for a work light, man, these things are awesome. These little LED, they use like 10 watts of power. Nothing, but look how bright they are. It lights up here. It lights up the whole room. Look how dark it is back here. These things are awesome. And they use a little of nothing. If I didn't have this thing, there's no way I could work on this stuff. It'll, it'll blind you to death though. But uh, if y'all have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, I'd rather you ask me than spend a bunch of money that you don't have to ask. Or the <laughs> that you don't have to spend. If you all have any questions, I'm, if you're all interested, I'm doing a uh, off-grid off -grid cabin build where I'm doing everything myself. It's just a shell. I've been framing in uh, bedroom walls and bathroom, getting ready to set toilet and tub and I mean everything that you would in a house. Building my own cabinets, uh, all my own plumbing, putting in uh, propane hot water heater well tankless propane hot water heater <clears throat> just uh doing what i do if you all enjoy hit that like button subscribe and share thanks